a man is living, a female is living in different churches where the other male is more on the other side, the other male is more on the other side. And the female, she might be going into two different treachery. What she's going to do, she'll, go, she'll do the same, mate with the other male, cut it, uh, ostrich, and go to the other one and mate and complete the, uh, the mating and mix the gene pool. The capsule will be more um, safe between the two males, which is a lot more easy. Which lion, lion, I haven't seen that lion doing that. Sometimes lion can do it, like in pastor ostrich, to persuade the male that it mustn't be uh, like following the female wherever she is going, especially if she's having cubs at the age of um, six months, nine months. If a new nomadic male enter into the area and find that there's no chance because the male will keep following the female until she shows the dam. What is going to happen? She will mate with the male for a day and cut it and run away from the male. Most especially, will let the male lie down in a very hot day because male are a lot more lazy. There was no, and female should wake up and sneak and go and go and find the cubs and move the cubs furthermore into other areas where know that the male were able to reach. So it's how actually leopard do and the lion were able to do that. I believe we've answered a question from Lauren according to the information that she was looking for. And thank you for Lorraine to ask us, I mean to email us for your question. We're looking forward in future. A very big, huge leopard. This is one of uh, my favorite animals out here. Mm. It's difficult to spot or to find or locate into the area, more special. Um, the area here is very, very thick at the moment. Uh, it's not so easy that you can uh, spot a leopard. Loud and clear. I've um, got a question from C.B. Perkins. And the um, question is, could it be that this form is breathing leopard and uh, we're lying down the one with the pavilion? Um, could it be sick? Just explain again why um, the form is breathing. Thank you, Jan. Thank you so much. Your question, question coming through. Uh, from Sydney. He, he wants to understand why the leopard is lying down and painting very fast. It could be a sick leopard or what's going on. Sydney, this is not a sick leopard. It's very, very healthy, 100% healthy. It's because of leopard, if most of time it's very, very hot, like it's very humid out here. And also leopard has been recently from the carcass, it's just eating. As I mentioned earlier on, uh, if leopard eats, it's really the painting very, painting very fast. It helps on the digesting metabolism of a, a leopard to digest very quick, then it can able to return and eat again. Because these species, they have a lot of competition with hyena and leopard, a hyena and other leopard and lion. If you stay a long time on the side where it's a meat, it's not safe for the leopard. He has to eat and move and go some, finish the meat and move and go somewhere. Because it's been eaten, and as, as you can see, the belly is a lot more full and round. So what is going to happen, it is a lot of energy from the leopard itself, even from the lions. It won't move that much. It will be doing that. It will be panting, lying down, and go back to the meat and join again, keep on eating. Soon you finish the meat, you move from the spot and go somewhere and lie down, have water, and be on the tree, up into the tree if you want, if you want to be done down it to where quite a lot of shadow and it will be doing the same. It is a very, very healthy uh, uh, leopard. It's not that much sick. It's metal because it's been eaten uh, and it's really a very hard day today. I think it will be doing this for the whole night. And also because it's full, it's been a lot of energy from the leopard itself too because it's tired and because the stomach is a lot more full, it's heavier, you won't able to move that much far. 
I think we have answered question according to the information that Sydney is looking for. Thank you, Sydney. For a question that came through, looking forward for more questions. And the other thing, it might be question that might come through. Is this leopard is not vulnerable while it's lying down like this from hyena and the lions? As I mentioned earlier on, uh, a leopard, the sense of hearing is very, very well developed. If anything approaches here, it will be able to hear that uh, while it's coming like 20, 25 meters away from the leopard. He'll get up. If it's a lion from the steps, you will be able to know this lion coming. You'll go up into the tree immediately before the lion reach into the area. If it's a hyena, two, three hyena, you're able to hear from the distance. There's three hyena coming. I won't stand my ground. I have to go up into the tree. If it's one hyena coming, you're able to hear <coughs> that and sense that one hyena is coming. I'm not going to run away. I'll stand my ground. So it really, lying down like this is not vulnerable from lions. It will be able to hear lions. It's able to smell lions from the distance and able to tell and will take an action of protecting itself. You have to drive all the way down the English Lala Pansi here on Angela on the northern side of that senior. It's able coming here. So far from, I will give you uh, my direction with the light. As you can see, the leopard is a lot more concerned because the vehicle driving from the other side. You just want to understand exactly who is coming around there, just getting up. If it's anything that uh, coming close by to the meat, you'll immediately uh, go up and go and defend the meat itself. As you know, that leopard uh, sometimes take, well, I mean, a week or even two weeks without killing anything. If it's really an opportunity of killing into the area, it has to take care of the meat. You have to take meat up into the tree, more especially a very expressed leopard like this. It will be not have, I mean, a lot of time you lose, I mean, kills from leopards, other leopards, hyena, lions. Soon, sun is going dark and know that the other species are getting active into the area. What's going to do, you immediately take the meat up into the tree, like I said earlier on when we live from the rhino sighting, that we have to come in right time for the leopard to go up into the tree. Drive around the corner, the leopard was up into the tree. We only see him while he's landing down. So you might be returning back to the carcass a little bit late, but we're still going to enjoy this beautiful sighting of the leopard here.